Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today is going to be a very different video. Today I'm going to be talking about badminton and today I'm going to be telling you when you're going to buy your new racket, these key features to look when you're buying your new racket. So yeah, let's get straight into it. The first thing I'll talk about is a weight. Now what I mean by weight, is there's three types of weight. First is head heavy. So first is head heavy. Second is head light. And third is even balanced. Now, let's do it in sections. So head heavy is the most of the weight of the racket is, is in the head, which is perfect for smashes. And if you play, and if you play your game from the back of the court. And then head light racket, which is very light here, and most of the weight goes into this handle, which is perfect for swift. If you like to swift or play from left to right, that's your perfect type of racket. Now this one is a head heavy racket. Um, yeah, which I, I like to smash, so I use this Yonix, um Astrox E13 racket. But yeah, and that's, and the second thing I want to talk about is head shape. What I mean head shape is your head of a shape. So there are two types of the two types of head shapes. One is isometric head shape. And the second one is oval shape. Now, the, the, you might say, what's the difference between those? Two? They're just like racket heads. But the, the, there's a there's a key there's like a thing called a sweet spot in every racket. So in an isometric racket, there's like a bigger sweet spot. So it's basically somewhere in the center where you normally hit your shuttlecock. Yeah, you normally hit it. But for an oval shaped racket, you have a very less sweet spot, which is somewhere which is somewhere around here, but it's very less. Okay. So yeah, and. I'll show you what I, what, I be, what I I mean by this is because if you're gonna hit your shuttlecock there, then you would have to. So for an oval shape racket, you you need more power to do it. But instead of an, but if you have an isometric racket, you can just easily tap it in there and it just goes. But if you have an iso, but if you have an oval shape racket. Right here, over ship. Now, if I try, I would need more lift to generate that much of energy. So that's the difference between an isometric head and an over ship head. Now, third point: the height of the racket. So when you buy your first ever racket, you you're, you're a bit confused of your height. Um, the best thing, which in my opinion, to check is that. Get it just like normal racket and put it like on. So the racket has to be like here, and the racket has to not touch the ground. It has to be a few centimeters off the ground. So if you when you're lifting a racket or when you're serving or lifting, then it shouldn't hit the ground. Yeah, um, that's it. Some people, some people uh, use these rackets for my age, but I tell them like not to use these rackets because you can't look like smash it high if you're going to use these rackets these are very short rackets but yeah the uh, the fourth thing i want to talk about is the t joints many people ask me what are t joints why what's the big difference with them i'll tell you now so firstly t joints are these things which are the head is made differently and the head and the handle are both connected to each other for a non-t joint there, there's like a one single piece, so there's no T joint on there. Now you might say, what's the difference between these two? And T joint racket becomes more weakened da daily. So if you if you're gonna play, it is high chance of your racket to literally fall off. For, sorry, sorry, your head to literally fall off. But for a single piece racket. It's not a very um, high chance that your uh, head will come off easily. And yeah, um, so that's the T-joints. And next I'll tell you about 
So we have a shaft. And the shafts are these handle in between here. So these things, these, this. So now you have two types of shaft: flexible shaft and a, a stiff shaft. Now a stiff shaft is your is your it's basically like your shaft like can't be like can't literally move that be flexible. And the, that's perfect for, for smashes, which mine is a stiff shaft. I like to smash, so normally, like, if you want this, um, you may play at the back of your core if you want a stiff shaft. If you have a flexible shaft, then you, then it's about, like, if you want to swift or make left and right turns. Or, like, you want to play near the net, you like to play near the net and not go back of the core. Now the last thing I want to talk about is string tension. Now many people say what what string string tension is. A string tension is the tightness of your strings which you have. So for example, normally beginners play beginners keeps their string tension about to twenty four, about twenty four. Intermediate players keep keep the string tension so so 24 pounds they keep for beginners and for intermediate they keep about 20 24 pounds to 28 pounds and for uh, advanced players they normally play they they normally uh, uh tighten their their um string up to 20 to 32 lbs or pounds um, yeah, this is like a very beginner racket, so I play an intermediate racket, um, which is about 24 to something, it doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure it's 24 because the racket is pretty good. And yeah, uh, this is the last thing I want to talk about is, is grip sizes. So grip sizes are these, um, these grip, like, if you, when you want to hold. Now, the, for so from Yohonix is based. The, the so the smallest is a G six. The I, I'm pretty sure it's the G six is the smallest. But if I'm right, just just correct me in the comments. This is a G five, yeah, G five racket. The G five racket, and normally. You may want to check when you're going to buy it, so, so don't risk it to be offline. But um, yeah, um, this is this is G five perfect for for my size, and yeah, I play with this. And yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel because we're trying to hit um hit eighty subscribers, which hap which didn't happen last month well i'm gonna try today uh try this month but please hit the subscribe button and 